Hi friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to read the book called On Beyond Bugs, All About Insects by Tish Ray and illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. I'm the cat in the hat and I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects around you. They live in the water, the earth, and the sky. Just wait and you'll soon see an insect go by. There are millions of them. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Do you see any insects on these pages? I see a couple. I see one, two, three. All right. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and lay eggs. They have wings and can fly, and they all have... How many legs does an insect have? Six legs. Spiders aren't insects. This news couldn't wait. Instead of six legs, every spider has... How many legs does a spider have? Eight. Now, can you... Can you tell me what insects you see on this page? There is a praying mantis and a butterfly and a ladybug and a grasshopper and an ant. They're all insects. If you look at an insect up close, you will see that its bodies and parts and each insect has how many body parts does an insect have? One, two, three. First, the head, then the thorax. And here at the end is the longest part, which is called the abdomen. And this is a cricket. And here's its head, its thorax, and then its abdomen. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them, so they each have two feelers to touch what's around them. An insect has feelers on top of its head. Some look a lot like a thin piece of thread, while others look much more like feathers instead. We wish we had feelers, but we don't have any. You can also call feelers by this name, antennae. Watch an insect and see all the things that it does. Some can swim like the diving beetle, some jump like a flea, or crawl like the caterpillar. Others chirp like a cricket, flash like a firefly, or buzz like a bee. Birds and frogs look for insects in order to eat them, so insects work hard to make sure they don't meet them. Some, like the wasp, have bright colors that say, Don't come near me, I'll sting you, so just stay away. This moth's wings are colored to look like the tree it is resting upon, so that no one can see it. Do you see the moth on that tree? It's right here. It blends in so that you can't see it. This spittle bug sits, and he spits out a bubble. It's wet and it's cool and can save him from trouble. So if you look closely, this is a spittle bug and it's spitting out bubbles. For when he's all covered in bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, it thinks nobody's home. And this is the spittle bug all covered with its bubbles. Here is a riddle I learned from my mother. How is a skunk and a ladybug like one another? When in danger, when danger is near, it is easy to tell. They suddenly give off a terrible smell. So ladybugs give off a terrible smell, just like skunks when they're scared. <laughs> These busy insects are my friends, the ants. They like to eat seeds, other insects, and plants. Ants are so strong, they can lift things that weigh over 10 times their weight, and they do it all day. 
So if you were as strong as an ant, you would see you could lift up 10 cats in tall hats easily. So ants are really, really, really strong. Watch these honeybees, and I'm sure you'll agree that these bees are as busy as busy can be. Worker bees collect food, and they keep the hive clean. They protect it from danger and wait on their queen. She must stay in one place. It is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. So here are all the worker bees. And then here's the queen. When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and starts dancing around. First she wiggles, then waggles, and circles, and so all the other bees know which direction to go. Can you guys wiggle and waggle like a bee? Look at this bee's dance moves. We can grow lots of flowers with help from the bees. They store dust from each flower in back of their knees. This dust is called pollen. Next flower they find, when they land on it, they leave some pollen behind. This is called pollination, and it makes the new seeds that grow even more flowers, which everyone needs. So pollination is when a bee carries pollen from flower to flower and leaves some of the pollen behind, and then new flowers grow. Some insects I know can be unwanted guests. Fleas, flies, and mosquitoes can really be pests. Fleas live on cats, dogs, rats, hamsters, and mice. Their bite is quite itchy, which isn't too nice. But they're wonderful jumpers. Why, if we were fleas, we'd jump over a house and we'd do it with ease. Fleas jump really high. Can you guys jump high? Have you ever wondered, why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings fast, and each time that it does, its wings make a sound you can hear in your ear, and this sound lets you know there's a fly flying near. Here's a fact about flies that we both thought was icky. They can walk upside down since their feet are so sticky. I don't think mosquitoes are very polite. When they're hungry, they land and they sting when they bite. But it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bothering you. So female or girl mosquitoes are the ones that bite you. Caterpillars do something you might think is strange. They start out as one thing, then one day they change. Some spin a small house on a branch just like this. And this home that they make is called a chrysalis. So here's the caterpillar in a chrysalis. If you watch it, you'll see when a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new butterfly. Here's a quick fact that we both thought was neat. Butterflies can taste food with their, do you know? They can taste food with their feet. On warm summer evenings, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off on in the night. They are like tiny flashlights that float in the sky, and if you want to catch them, it's all right to try. Use a jar with a lid, watch them glimmer and glow, then open the jar up and let them all go. All day and all night, on the ground, in the air, insects are moving around everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. The world that we know couldn't go on without them. The butterfly, ladybug, ant, and the bee make everything better for you and for me. The end. So, what insects work to help us and what do they do hmm and how many body parts does an insect have and what are they and how many legs do they have all right i will talk to you guys later have a good day